I'm a noob. Don't be a noob. Build a nuclear fallout shelter now. What is up, YouTube? Bonnie Films here with a brand new video, and today I'm bringing you a brand new tutorial. It is how to build a nuclear fallout shelter. So, in the event of something going wrong in Lumber Tycoon 2, you'll always be safe. So, we're going to be doing this in several parts because, the, yeah, that's just how the build is going to go. So, you just need a a decent sized room this is a decent sized room here this is just the entrance so don't mind this little space here and we'll put the huge um, vault door thing here to keep out the radiation and stuff and then here don't mind the soul this is just to, um, for easy <clears throat> for easy access in and out of the vault while building the shelter while building it so we're gonna first start with building the door and later we'll move on to building the shelving units the stove or the small kitchenette and then we'll be stocking up the shelves, and then we'll be building a bed and a desk and a nice little lamp and some lighting. So, but first we're going to start with doing the door. So, doing the door is probably the most complex thing you'll ever do in your life on Lumber Tycoon 2. So, what you have to do, you have to go to, first we're going to be building the butts in here. So, you want to um, you wanna take one button, so, hold on, building materials for the door. Two hatches, one signal sustain, two buttons, and four wires. And I just chose um, three neon for no reason. Uh, you can uh, mix and match the wires however you want. So you want to place the button here because that's going to open the door. And then you want to place one on the opposite side because that's going to open the door from the other side. Like that. So it should look like this. And next you want to go place your hatch. And you want to make sure you do have an opening in the back because um, it'll be hard to move blueprints in there while having like this door in in the way. So excuse me. So we want to place it there. So when you open it, it goes to the nope. It's, uh, the button's hard to get. There we go. So you want you want to press it so, or you want to place it so it opens to the outside. So let's close that again. Let's hop back through and you can place one more on top of it. So you should be left with a signal sustainer and two, um, and then four lever, or four, not levers, uh, wires. So, and all these can be purchased at Lynx Logic, but the buttons and regular wire can be purchased over at Wood or Rust. So, anyways, I'm, so this is the complex part. So you want to stand in front of your door and then you want to make sure that this is a single blueprint here. Like it's a big one so you don't have to move several smaller ones. So you're going to go to menu and then you want to reload right here. Press reload and then you want to wait for your base to respawn here. And then you want to stand here and then um, I'll get back to you once our base is ready to be reloaded back in. So yeah, um, I'll be back in a moment. Okay, YouTube, so once you have your base here, you want to press select and confirm, and then you want to wait for the wall to respawn in front of you right here. Then you want to press E, and then press move, and then quickly press B to quit. So, let's wait for the wall to spawn, and this is a quick process. Oh, come on, move, and then B quit there. So, uh, excuse me, so um, what this does, this makes the wall invisible, but to other players, the wall is still there. And then once you reload and stuff, the wall will be um, visible to you. But for now, there's nothing. There, the wall doesn't exist. But it will re-exist once you reload again. So this will just make it easier to place wires in between the walls instead of having to run them um, further and stuff. So what you want to do, you want to take a wire, and then this is the first thing you want to take. You want to connect these two um, buttons like this like that and then make sure if you press it the wire turns on it's like that and like that and then you want to go take your signal sustain I'm gonna go ahead and set it to default right now uh, where's the button oh yeah let me set it to default there we go <clears throat> and let's position it correctly so it's resting on its base and then you want to put it um hold on I'm trying to see where it is okay there it is so I'm just gonna right now. One moment. Let's rotate it so it's like this, and then you want to set it to about seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And it depends how laggy your server is or how not laggy it is, because laggy servers will tend to um, 
the doors will tend to stay open for longer. In less laggy servers, like private servers, the doors will open and close quickly. So next, we're going to grab another wire, and you want to connect it to the top hatch all the way down to the bottom hatch, like this. And then once you've done that, you want to get another wire, and you want to connect it to the bottom of here, right there, and you, and you want to connect it. You don't want to connect it to where the arrow is pointing on top of the box, because that will connect to the um, this here. So you want to um, take a wire. Wait, hold on. Let's do it right here. I'm going to do this. And you want to go up. You want to go in here. And then connect right there. So there we go. So if you press the button, it should turn on and run the signal. And then next, grab the last wire. Move it. And then you want to connect it right here. And then you want to connect it up there. So you want to go up the wall like that. Then go on top like this. And there we go. So press the button. The door should open for the selected amount of time on the signal sustainer. So next you want to try it on the opposite side of the door and make sure it works. And there we go. So also, wires sometimes do move when you reload. So if it breaks, you just want to do this process over again, like one more time. But yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and reload so the wall is visible again so I can prove to you that the wall does become visible. And then next we'll move on to the inside of the vault and we'll move on to part two. <clears throat> Anyways. So yeah, so here's the wall. It reappeared. Um, we're going to press the button to make sure it still functions. And yeah, so why is he standing here? Um, so just wait for it to reload in and then press the button. So... We're going to be moving on to part 2 after we test this door, and yeah, I hope you are enjoying this tutorial so far. So, we're almost loaded in. Button's here, all this is here, so let's test this. So we press the button, door opens, walk in, it stays open, and then, uh, that wire is visible, but that's okay. And then you want to press this button, make sure it works, and there it goes. So it does work. So that's very good news, we're going to move on to part 2. Okay, YouTube, we are back with part two. We're going to be making the bed and a wall. So what you want to do, you want to have two tiles that are uh, lava wood or some other wood, but this is going to be for the, the blanket on the bed. Then you want to have two kitchen can uh, cabinets that can be purchased at Fancy Furnishings. You want to have two of those. I used um, walnut wood um, over in Safari Biome for this. And then you need... One one over one wedge made out of birch wood from the volcano area, and you need one post made of the same wood. So, and then for the wall, you just need one eight by four, and then one two over two over four by one blueprint. So, what you want to do, you want to first take your cat, the kitchen cabinet. This is going to be the base of the bed, and this also will act as extra storage. So, first we have to do we do have to measure this space out here. So I'm just going to take this long table. You want to make sure you have eight studs of space here. Because we're going to be putting something there. So let's just put that there. And then you want to have one space, one stud of space for the wall to go in. Because it's going to go in between here and then the thing here. So you can remove this table now. I'm going to go and just put it there. And you want to grab another kitchen cabinet. And you want to rotate it. And you want to put it right there. So... You might have a little extra space, that is okay. So, you want to grab your, no, you don't want to grab the stove. You want to grab your tile, and you want to place these down first before you do place the, um, before you place the pillow, because this will go on top of the, um, cabinets, and then the pillow will go on top of this. So, you want to grab your pillow, and this is a bit of a complex process, because if you place it directly on top of the blanket, it will be floating up a stud, or like, a, it will be floating up 0.8 studs. So what you want to do, you want to go on to, um, you want to, like, put it, uh, we need some light in here. I think we can agree on that. So you want to place it, like, on here. You don't want, yeah, it's a bit of a complex thing. So please bear with me. So you want to, like, try to get it directly on top like that. There we go. And then you want to do the same thing with this wedge, except you can place it, like, right next to the, uh, there it is. 
right next to the pillow or the post that we placed. So we've placed that there. There we go. So that's the bed. Now we're going to go ahead and do the wall right here. And keep in mind that you can uh, take away um, things we build or rebuild things we build. No, or duplicate what we build. But like as I said, this is not for a specific space. This is for just a general room. It's just general design, so you might have some extra space, or you might be limited in space. So just take away some things if you do have limited space. But, yeah. So, once we have built this, we're going to move on to part three. So we have finished building that, so let's move on to part three. Okay, YouTube, we are back at part three. So we're going to be doing the shelving unit now. So... This unit is going to hold all of our supplies. The supplies I have, two sticks of dynamite, three cans of beans, some work lights, two work lights, and then a bunch of turkeys. So, we for the shelves, you just need, thir no, you need six, one over three wedges. So, you're going to take these, you want to rotate them, and you want to place them so the level side is facing up like this, and the wedge side is facing that way. Um, no, oh wait, no, it's the hypotenuse. You make sure the hypotenuse of the wedge is facing downward. If you don't know what a hypotenuse is, no, it's not a hippopotamus. So you just want to place these. Um, you want to make a three row. No, you want to make one row of three wedges, and then you want to make two um two rows total. And then you want to make sure that the bottom row is two studs above the ground. You want to make sure that the top row is two studs from above the bottom row. So, once you have placed all the wedges, uh, we're going to have to ask the person to move. Excuse me. Excuse me. Um, so then, nope, that's, that's too high. I'm sorry. You can place this down one stud. And then once it's like that, you can just get your items and start placing them on there. So you have this and then let's just move it over here. There we go. And you want to grab this. Ooh, sun's rising. Oh, that's so beautiful. Um, and we're just gonna place all the items there. So, uh, if you haven't known, um, there's like experimental lighting now, and I cannot wait till it is added. Hopefully, it is added to Lumber Tycoon 2 because it will make this game look amazing. Cause it's like really good lighting and stuff. And yeah, it's just something I'm excited for about. Cause like. Currently, like, there's no shadows and stuff when the sun rises, like, it goes through this wall and stuff, I think. I don't know, but it'll just make shadows this update. So, let's just continue placing turkeys and stuff. We have three left, so I believe I do have seven or six. Yeah, we have six turkeys. And then, you also can add more items you want that you'll want in a nuclear fallout uh, bombing or whatever. But this is just the stuff all want. Uh, they're hiding in the corner, hello. Um, so yeah, uh, we're almost done placing all the turkeys. Let's go ahead and start placing the um, beans. So the beans will go on the shame, shame. Same shelf as the other food, the turkey. Right here. Nope. Excuse me. There we go. Okay. So place that there. And then these can be purchased at Bob's Shack for three thousand dollars, plus two hundred dollars, if you want to get that specific. But I don't, so yeah. So these are gummy worms. I think like they're the best food option to have in the situation that we're preparing for. So yeah. So next shelf, we're gonna take um, two work lights and two sticks of dynamite. So dynamite is for, and the mer like. I don't know what it's for, but it's for, like, defending yourself, maybe. Or if the door is broken, you can light it and blow it up. But this, I do not condone of violence, so, yeah, it's not what this video is about. It's for entertainment purposes only and educational purposes only. Those are, like, legal document things, stuff I have to say. I don't know if I have to say it, but I've seen other people say it. So, I just wanted to say it. So that a group, or a herd, or a flock, or a murder of lawyers don't come after me. Um, so let's just put this on the top shelf. And I think we'll be done for this part. So, uh, what part are we on? So one, two, three, 
Okay, so let's go to part four. Okay, YouTube, we are at part four of this tutorial, so we'll be doing the kitchenette and the little desk, and we'll be doing all the lighting. So, you want to make sure, for the kitchenette, you want to have one stove, you want to have one thin cabinet, and then you have one thin countertop. So, both of these are um, walnut wood from the other biome. So, what you want to do, you want to take this, you want to place this in the corner right here, like that, and then, oh, excuse me, and then you want to take your thin countertop, and you want to place it right up here on top of it. So let's just try to get that in there. Come on. Not very easy. Come on. This is tricky. Oh man. Come on. Oh, do we have it there for a second? Maybe. Okay, come on. I'm just trying to like rotate it and stuff to see if that will help. Why is this not going down? Okay. We're just going to leave that there for now. We're going to grab our stove now. And we're going to place it right here. So, you will have one set space here if you're using the same... Um, dimensions of a room I'm using, but yeah. So where'd the cabinet go? Cabinet's gone. Dang it! It's that weird glitch thing. So I'm not gonna worry about the cabinet for now, but you just want to make sure that you do have a countertop on top of there. So um, oh dang it! Um, I'll have to wait to make um the desk now because there's an X in the way. Excuse me. Excuse me. Uh, so we're going to have to wait for him to move his axe. Let's see if we can move it ourselves with our axe. No, we can't. Okay. So let's move it like this. Hello. Mm -hmm. So, anyways, you want to have one long table. And then you want to make sure you have um, three regular wires and two neon wires. And two levers so you do want to make sure that you have those specific wires so excuse me so once you have this table it's a bit of tight squeeze you want to go ahead and place it in this little nook here right there and next you want to grab a lever this is going to be for the lamp and I think this lamp design is like super amazing so yeah, so you're going to make sure that you le place the lever like this, so that the little knob thing is down there. And you want to grab a regular wire, you want to connect it to the bottom here, and then you want to go down. And then this is like the, my favorite part of the design. So you're going to place one across, then you want to go here, place it there, and then go on the opposite side. It's like a mirror, so you place that there, and then that goes there. And you're going to do that all the way around. This is going to be the base of the lamp. Or the office lamp, whatever you want to call it. But yeah, it's just pretty amazing design, I think. So let's just hope we do not run out of wire. Okay, I think we should have enough wire. Let's see if we can go across here. There we go. And then you want to go on top like this. No, dang it. But you want to make sure you have like a little patty there. And next, we're going to go here. We're going to grab a wire. And we want to connect it to this little nozzle thing here. So, if we do it like this. I know, do it like that. And do it like that. Wait, no, hold on. Place this wire here. You need to go get a piece of wood and put it behind the lamp because this is going to help make the lamp arm that holds the light. So, you want to go up here. And let's see right there. And uh, let's just, you want to put the like wood right here. And then you want to go grab your wire. And you want to take it, you want to try to connect it to that. Go up here and then like go a very little distance. Let's just see if this works. So it does, that's good. And then you want to grab a neon wire. These should be both white. And then 
yeah, so this can be light on it. So then you want to place it on the little end of that, and then you build it out as short as possible. Turn it on and look at the lamp. That is pretty amazing. So let's take this back in or out. Throw it back on the patio. Whoop! There we go. And now, well, I just said and now, and yeah. So now we are going to take a lever. We're going to do the light bulb in this room. Uh, you want to place it upward like this. I'm going to. You can make sure that's a bit above the bed. So, um, um, so yeah, uh, some people are typing in the chat. I haven't been able to read it. So you want, oh, that lever's in the wall. Whoa, that's weird. Hold on, let's, let's fix that. There we go. So you want to grab a regular wire, and then you want to connect it to the top of this here. And then you want to run it here. Go up like this. And then we go up to the ceiling, like that, and then like that, and then, yeah, so that should be that. And then you want to grab your last white neon wire and last item of this build, and you want to, this is what you want to do. So you want to take it, you want to place it here, and then you want to go across, hold on, it's been a tight squeeze with a bunch of fans in here, and then you want to place it there, then you want to go across, like, right here as far as you can for maximum lighting and you want to do it like that there we go so if we flip the wire the, the wire no if we flip the lever it should work there we go so yeah you two we have finished this build in the fallout shelter we finished the fallout shelter build so i hope you did enjoy this this is my third time actually recording how to build this um second time record like the recorder didn't record it the first time Oh wait, hold on. Please say I'm recording. Okay, I'm recording. And then the first time, um, we ran into technical difficulties. But, um, just pretend there's a countertop there. Thank you for watching this video. Um, it's actually, I'm Rex, so I cannot read chat. So let's go ahead, place the door here, or not the door, the wall here, so that this is a complete vault. And then we're going to actually test this out. So place that there. Run around here. Push the button. Walk in here and there we go. So pretend there's like a countertop here. And we do have this nice light that we can't be controlled like that. And like that. So yeah, this is a pretty cool build. I hope you did enjoy it. You can also do some little storage underneath the bed. Uh, this doesn't open though, so meh. And you can do storage in here with the imaginary countertop on top because this one's broken or didn't appear. But yeah, so I hope you did enjoy this build. Um, if you did, make sure to like and subscribe. Even though subscribing doesn't help me, it'd be cool if you did. So yeah, YouTube. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next video.